Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Today, we're back on... And then the video is just me just doing this for eight, eight hours. Oh god, my eyes are starting to hurt. I blinked, I blinked, damn it. Today, we're, we're, we're back on Hearts of Iron 4 and playing the Gates of Versailles mod. So this is a mod in which the Napoleonic Wars were ended in a stalemate and the French Empire still exists and all of that jazz. And it's going to tell us here. Few men in history have inspired as much praise and scorn as Napoleon as his, and his family. Despite the stalemate at Trafalgar and the defeat in Russia, France was able to secure peace and status quo in 1818 with a combination of charisma, strategy and blood. They have made France the centre of Europe and continue to rule it today. Some people that have accepted this as natural order of the world politics, but from Berlin to Beijing, people whisper of a new age that will change the world. And today I'm going to be playing as Italy. Foreign power Powers continue to dominate all aspects of life in the Italian peninsula, with the French, the British and the Austrians all breathing down their necks, the people stay divided culturally and politically. As the region continues to industrialise, though unification becomes more and more inevitable. Whether this will come from the north or the south or from another country entirely is yet to be seen. So we have Victor Emmanuel, lovely, although we have an unstable government. That's not good. So. We only control the northern part of Italy. We will have to worry about the Austrian Empire, the French Empire, and probably Naples and Sicily and all that jazz. So let's let's begin and just see see what goes on. Okay, so the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805 ended in a stalemate. The Russian invasion failed just as much as it did, but France still had armies in reserve. And but I want to know more. What is the overall law? Oh, if you would like to read all of this, there you go. The next crisis for the French came with the Great War in 1914. The Entente consisting of France, Russia and the UK faced off against the central powers of Prussia. Oh, the Austria and the Ottoman Empire and the United States. Ah, okay. Now in 1936, the world is about to be set ablaze. Prussia's preparing to unify Germany into one state. Russia is at a crossroads of complete degeneracy and a democracy. Like Prussia, Italy is heading towards the unification of Italy under Mussolini. And King George V is dying. And the boy emperor, Napoleon VI, has shown little interest in politics. Okay, let's get started. Oh, also, I forgot to say, comment, like, and subscribe for more. Ta very much. What's even more important than unifying Italy? making sure that your internet security is protected. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. NordVPN is officially the fastest VPN on the planet. According to the test run by AV Test, a respected and independent IT security institute, NordVPN edges out all of the other popular VPNs in terms of speed. So there you go. So NordVPN isn't just a VPN, it's an all round cyber security brand. It also offers such things as threat protection, which conceals your IP and cloaks your virtual location, shields your data traffic and protects you from various cyber attacks. There's also the NordPass, which is a passport manager, which generates strong passwords and stores them in a secure vault. And there's also the NordLocker, a secure cloud storage, which keeps your files encrypted and accessible from anywhere. Oh, and did you know NordVPN also protects against man-in-the-middle attacks, phishing, password attacks, DDoS, malware, maladvertising and ransomware? That's quite a lot of stuff. It's not just a VPN. Even though VPN's in the name, it's, it's, it's more than that. I've used NordVPN many times before, especially when I'm traveling at airports. It, it, it gives me a lot of peace of mind to know that I have that little bit of added extra protection. So with my exclusive deal, if you purchase a two-year plan, then you'll get an additional four months absolutely three how about that get an exclusive vpn deal at nordvpn.com slash alex the rambler it's risk-free with nord's 30-day money-back guarantee okay so we start off with 17 divisions a couple of them tanks 39 factories isn't terrible the production is somewhat meh i don't think we need two on motorized oh we've got 18 military factories so i could actually get more stuff on the go such as artillery yes ah i see i see that's why we're not producing tanks because we don't actually have oh and they're terrible anyway oh my god what are the division templates like awful Brilliant. I think to begin with, I'll do the future of Italy. For too long has Italy been the subject of constant invasion. We must change this for the glory of our people and the future of the country. I almost said democracy then. I think I've been watching too much Star Wars recently. What is this? They've added Elba. That's cute. We should probably get some sort of air force. Although we are lacking resources now. I want a lot of artillery. I think we'll be relying on artillery a lot with Italy. Oh, we're the Adriatic Pact. Who do we have in the faction? It's just me. 
Oh, come on now. You expect me to go against the Continental Alliance in order to re- I need to- Oh. Oh. Balls. How do I take out Naples when they're part of the faction- the French faction? Oh, I've made a big mistake. Not a terrible sized navy to begin with, but I imagine it's all old crud. Wow, the French army's quite unequipped to begin with. That'll change, I imagine. That'll change. It's just nice to play a mod that's updated with the current patch. Ah, uh, here we go. Unification of Italy. Italy has never been unified. Ever. We must unify it in the name of our ancient ancestors and the future of the Italian people. Okay, Conference of Naples. Italy has always been split between north and south. The only thing stopping us from waltzing in is our arch enemy, France. Mussolini has called for a meeting with Amadeo of Aosta. They and advisors from both countries will meet in Castello, Aragonese, a medieval castle in the Gulf of Naples. Okay, maybe I should have focused on getting my economy off the, off the ground first. Oh. Good. I could get a Sardinian revolt, but currently we control a couple more bits. Okay. I think I'll have to go and rebuild the economy a little bit. Oh, I can actually dominate the Mediterranean as well. I think there's a lot that you can do. Am I able to justify? Oh, I can manually justify on nations. Okay, so this could actually be more fun than, than the focus tree initially makes it out to be. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and get four naval bases. Mm, that won't, that doesn't give me factories though, does it? No, I'll rebuild the economy. We have no military high command, no ability to get any chief of armies or air force chiefs. So that's a bit of a poop. Oh, there's an international aviation exhibition though. That's lovely. Trying to rebuild the economy though. I could improve our military industry. Modernize trains, which gives you 10% reinforcement rate. That's pretty nice. Naval rearmament. I mean, they seem to really want you to go down that route, don't they? I'll reform the Italian land army. I need some army XP. Oh, there's fascism in Russia. An interesting development. Oh yeah, they're now led by Konstantin Rod Rodajewski, and they're justifying against the Polish government. I think I'll fire incompetent generals. Hire new generals. There we go. Since we fired our incompetent generals, our generals have had to rush this and cause an, a problem in performance. Okay, do we have anything better? We do. So let's do the Sardinian uprising. To get this island, to get this land, we must support a rebellion on the island, then invade it when the French have given up. Okay. I guess I'll bring my fleet around. Let's start getting a few more crappy divisions out. Okay, Sardinia has declared war on the French. I wonder if they'll actually do anything though. Ultimatum to Sardinia, okay. Well, they haven't successfully repelled the French at all. So we have nothing to spend our PP on, except conscription. And uh, Mussolini is very unhappy about that. Looks like Sardinia is still holding off the French, which is surprising that naval unit of... Oh, well, that's exploded over there. The Kingdom of Sweden is also exploding between the Wilhelmites and the ha Haraldites. Shall we take a little look? Just give me army XP, you know? I can't, I can't, I can't get anything. We'll send a simple ultimatum and the weak Sardinians will surrender, but I'll, yeah. Okay, let's, let's do that. And they agree. Okay. Everyone's having war and it looks so fun. But look how big the freaking Russian tree is. Wow. Oh. Prussia is intervening as Sweden continues to be ravaged. Prussia and Denmark have been involved in Swedish affairs before. Okay. Prussia declared war on the Haraldites and Mecklenburg. Prussia's, Prussia wants to expand. Oh, my, my, my. Is there anyone I could legitimately conquer right now? There really isn't. There's the creation of the North German Confederation. Oh, lovely. The Russian state is having some trouble here. I have no idea who's winning, whether it be... Do they have a port? Oh, they do have a port. So that might be why Russia is uh, slowly getting towards Warsaw. I will have Naples. It shall be mine. And it looks like Russia has invaded the Polish Commonwealth from behind. And now it is time for the annexation of Naples. It needs to be annexed into our empire. I need Italy. I need it. It must be mine. I need the lightly industrialized south. Yes, give it me. Give it me. Oh, excellent. Okay, it's now been reported that Naples government has collapsed and they're willing to surrender to our nation. Great. Okay, where to next? I'll pay for Tyrol. Okay, South Tyrol has been claimed by the Italian people for centuries and now it's time we'll take it over. I'll just have to compensate them. Let's just make sure they know I'm serious. Oh, did I get the hold of the Naples armed forces as well? I did! How lovely. Although having green on green is a little bit difficult to see, so let's go for blue. Draft the farmers and the mafia. Oh, everyone's getting drafted. Don't you worry about that. Poland is somehow existing with their capital in Kiev. <laughs> did I just, did I get it? 
Excellent. Oh, it's mine. It's mine, baby. Mainland unified. Da -da -da -da. And we'll core everything. That's the way to do it. Then I can apparently go on a Sicilian adventure. I'm looking forward to this. Ah, for the first time in history, the Italian people have been unified. Woohoo! Reports from this new... What? Reports of this news comes from Rome, where Italy proclaimed the first Italian state in front of 550,000 cheering spectators. The unification of the peninsula was not easy work for the Italians, and few knew that Italy would have been unified in this decade. Amadeo of the House of Savoy Bonaparte, the former leader of the French-aligned Napoleon Neapolitan state in southern Italy, has declared the Italian state illegitimate, and he still retains his claim to the throne of Naples. Enemies of the French see this as hope that their empire will soon collapse. Yeah. Yes. Now we have the Sicilian adventure where we'll declare war on Sicily. Oh, I have a bit of Africa now too. Cool. Not really going to do much with that, but... Oh, okay, yeah, we're at war. We're at war. Go to naval invasion support. Let's see. You may fire when ready. Oh, and now I can do strengthen the regime or overthrow Mussolini. <gasps> it unlocks both of them now. Oh, great. Goody, goody gumdrops. We've got content. Okay, let's see if, if the uh, Sicilians will stand a chance against me. The answer is no. I just need some army. Oh, I finally do have some army XP. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'll be changing my infantry template now. Oh, I've only got 11 days of fuel left. I should get the navy back. I now have a grand total of three battleships. Fear me, world, for I am legion. I've actually got a fair amount of military factories. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Feeling pretty poggers, as I believe the kids say nowadays. Poggity pog pog pog. I have way too much pee-pee. Please, someone give me something to do with my political power. Now, do we want to overthrow Mussolini or strengthen the regime so we could promote pregnancy or I can do a Balkan guarantee pact? No, I think this time we're going to see if we're going to strengthen the regime. I'm not going to get rid of Mussolini and this may be my downfall. <laughs> I'm doing a non-monarchist playthrough, chat. We're doing a non-monarchist playthrough. <laughs> I hurt. Of course, attacking France will be the main objective at some point, but they do have a lot. They, they control a lot. Fate of the loyalists. The public wishes for them to be gone, so away they go. I don't know how I'm meant to take on this continental pact, you know? This seems pretty grim. Let's execute the Garib... <gasps> no! Oh dear, I actually, I'm actually killing off the, uh, I presume we're killing off the king. You know, when I first started this mod, I was thinking, eh? But as we get more into it, I'm enjoying it a little more. Although I just executed the royal family, and now I abolish the fascist committee. For too long, the fascist committee has been hindering Ildus's great plans for Italy. And then we just get the legion. Ooh. I'm gonna run this country into the ground faster than you can say... Benito Mussolini. Il Duce is right. Oh my gosh, he's going to become a field marshal. If we truly want to replicate the Roman Empire, we must have our leader as our leader in battle. Previous Roman councils and emperors were their armies. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm going to go for the expansion of the pact, honestly. So like Spain and Turkey. I can't do that one. What about Spain? I could maybe ally with the Spanish. Is this Spanish Empire? Oh, the Bavarian War. Okay. You want me to have a pact with you? I could silence the Mafia, but no, I'll, I'll try and expand the pact. Our need to reform the Roman Empire grows by the day. Yes. I can declare war on Serbia of Srinagora. Oh, so I'd need to naval invade them and then get over the mount. Uh, how many troops do you... between 3 and 13 and 6 and 31? I'll do diplomatic expansion first and then an alliance with Spain. We'll get them to join whether they like it or not. Ah, Spain accepts our alliance. Very good. I can't do that. I'll do aggressive expansion. Oh, the British Empire is going after India, it seems. I guess India was all broken up. Yeah, so there's the British Raj, and now they're going to try and unify, I presume. So how many divisions does Spain have? Not a lot. Hopefully they'll build more as they get stronger. <laughs> Spain. Oh, they can still control Florida, where they have 12 divisions just hanging out. All right, what sort of division templates have you got? Bad. Okay, are they guaranteed by anyone? No. You may fire when ready. I could have occupied Albania first. I didn't read it. Reload? Never. Excellent. We're now one step closer to reforming the Roman Empire. Yeah. And get your troops across before they can take everything. Why are my troops so... 
Oh wait, I'm Italy. I didn't even have them up doing missions. Oh my god, Alex. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, good. Now we'll prepare against Serbia, where I will build many air bases. Let's promote pregnancy, everyone. Yes, our people of our nation must start having children for a new age of Italians. Let's have sex, everyone. Oh, Germany's at war with Westphalia, so that means they're at war with France, too. <gasps> Do I go in? Let's see. The Second Great War. 66, 99, and 244. I'm going to see how that goes. I'm probably going to have my war with Serbia first. Although, this is probably going to be pure pain, so I'm going to do a save here. Bobby the Owl says no to cheating. Don't disappoint Bobby. Okay. It's time to grind! Cass is king. Look at that. Look at that. Then I'm probably going to go to the war with France. It's time. We'll just industrialize Naples first. Yeah, I think that uh, the North German Confederation may need our help. They currently have nothing on my border. I will take my claim state of Savoy. And I've got a whole bunch of new units ready for deployment, which I completely forgot about. So I've got an extra 16 divisions in reserve in case we need them. And we'll have 100 units from uh, Spain, I think. Are we ready for this? Taking on the French Empire as the North German Confederation starts to buckle. Is it sports time? For those of you who are about to die, uh, sorry. I think I might be able to push in, you know. What do the French have in their... Division templates. Not enough, it seems. Although, I'm being embargoed by Japan. I will definitely call the Spanish in. We're costing them some convoys as well as we're raiding everywhere. Good. So who do we need to capitulate in order for this to... It's just the French Empire we need to humble. Okay, that's... Let's send in more divisions to the meat grinder. Oh no, Giovanni. Giovanni is uh, wounded. Okay, I'm going to try and push to Lyon. That's our first objective. Oh, could we take Marseille? I guess I'll try and micro a little bit. We are still pounding them with our air force. Lovely. Even the Spanish have pushed a tile or two. Let's try and, I'm trying to cut off Marseille before they can... Yes! You rebel scum. We try and meet up with the Spanish. The Spanish have even done their own damn little insert. Oh no, it's not quite. Not quite. Okay. We're going to reform into a field marshal line. We're not going to be helping out the Spanish, though. I'm surprised at how weak the French seem. I'm sure they're probably not, but it, it does feel like they're quite weak. They are fighting on free front. You have to go and ruin my, uh... You have to go and ruin my sense of achievement here, don't you? I'm doing it, I'm doing it! Why are they fighting on free fronts? <laughs> I just wanted to try and save Germany. I don't know why. Are they in a position to naval invade me? They're not, so I'm going to send the rest of my army to help. I feel like we're close. We're close to a French annihilation. We're almost at Paris. We're almost at Paris. <gasps> Why are you going that way? Go to Paris. There we go. Paris is mine. What are you going to do? Oh, winning feels good. <laughs> and then the UK is going in as well. They could attack via the Channel Islands. And I guess they are. Straight into Cherbourg. No, the victory is mine and mine alone. Oh, I should have put player-led peace conferences on, really, shouldn't I? Oh, balls. Oh, there we go. Oh, now that, now that, that, that. I'll leave it as that. that that'll that be my... I'll take all your ships, too. France still exists, sort of. Although they are a puppet of the North German Confederation. I'm just trying to think, like, what? where do I go now? Where does my tree take me to? You're meant to be able to get 750,000 manpower in the field by 1938, and I'm locked out of the rest of my tree. I also can't do an alliance with Turkey. Could expand and invade Saudi Arabia and Iraq, and I don't think I want to. I think I want to go after the Austrian Empire. Shall we do that instead? I think that'll be more fun. Yeah, I think having some fun with Austria, the Austrian Empire, we need to humble our old enemy. Then maybe go after Greece. Maybe Bulgaria. Just want to wanna get more of my little Roman Empire, while at the same time humbling Austria. What about Africa? It appears the Spanish are gonna have that, and then this is a puppet of Germany. Hmm, I should have... I really... What I should have done is had player-led peace conferences, and then got it all myself. Oh, is Russia versus Germany happening? It is! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Meanwhile, it's my core. The United States is justifying... What?! Why has the feature of kick from my faction been disabled? How dare you? How dare you? Oh, they're using force attack against me. That's okay, I have Cass. 
Let's let the Austrians waste their manpower. Oh my god. 2k casualties against 202,000. The power of Cass. The United States declared war on the Spanish Empire. I will not be joining that war. I wish I hadn't invited Spain. Spain can go do one. I'm not helping you. I'm not helping you. It's not happening. Austria have a lot of divisions. Would be a shame if someone cast them to death. I think this might be a slow invasion here. I'll probably wait until they're out of equipment. I'm going to send these extra 16 divisions to maybe try for a little bit of a push. Oh, I've just taken their supply depot. More fighting. More conquering. More everything. That's a nice encirclement. Stick that on the Hoy subreddit and show everyone that I'm not incompetent. Well, I think I'm through their lines. Yeah, they still want to have 12 divisions on that tile. Push to Austria. Push to... to Wien. I do need a few more divisions to... Oh, how lovely. Okay, are we ready for the final capitulation of the Austrian Empire? Da -da -da -da. Attack on all fronts. Oh, they immediately do desperate defense. I've been embargoed by Greece. Well, they'll, like, they'll get it soon. Everyone can force attack. I care not anymore. I may as well try and cut off everything here. Could this be the encirclement of a lifetime? Or this playthrough? I want that encirclement. Give it me! Oh, yes! Bosnia is now on the menu. Time to just gobble gobble. The Roman Empire shall rise, sort of. How's Spain doing against the USA? I didn't even think to look. Oh, the war stopped. They're not at war anymore. I guess they just peaced out. Ah, Spain, my useful ally forever. Yeah, it's just Russia versus North Germany. 1600 cash should help us in the mountains. In the mountains. And then I'm going to take Greece. And then I'm going to take Bulgaria, probably. Is Cass really that strong? Cass is king. I think I coined that phrase, didn't I? And now it's become like uh, a well-known phrase. But no one knows it was me. I think if I just go like this and then click. Let's see how much damage the Cass is doing. And this is, that's just, <laughs> that was, this is into war cast. It's um, not actually good cast. It's like the most basic cast you can get. All right, well, on to Greece. You've never seen such a strong Italy. I'm the strongest Italy. The best Italy. Could I take on Bulgaria at the same time? I'll give it a go. Let's get Mussolini on the front line, shall we? Okay, goodbye, Greece. No one's guaranteeing. You'd love to see that. Let's see what damage the cast will do this time. Nice. And uh, now Greece have no equipment. They've lost everything. I love Cass. It's getting to the point now where I ignore all of the research because I, I, I'm just steamrolling at this point, really, aren't I? Mussolini shall lead the invasion of Bulgaria himself. And everything is melted. I mean, I've got 1,500 Cass. What can, what can they do? Absolutely nothing. Do I try and take out this? There's the Continental Alliance. You know what? I think I will. It does all belong to Rome. I wish I could form the Roman Empire, because it, it mentions the Roman Empire, but it doesn't give you any option to, to form it, which is, uh... Disappointed! Well, um, they're crumbling. There we are. I think I'm getting pretty thick. Yeah, I don't know why this section is, uh, flooded. They're in a faction, though, with... Oh, they're a puppet of Germany, and I and I am not going to get involved between Germany and Russia. I think that's quite a good attempt and a good Italy run. So if you enjoyed watching this, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more very soon. Ta-da! Many thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Just a reminder to get a two-year plan plus four months bonus at nordvpn.com slash alextherambler. That's nordvpn.com slash Alex the Rambler. Thank you. Many thanks to Duff Bowl, Jack Troku, Chancellor64, Haigu, Logan Whaley, Salty Badger, and Wyatt Green for being cult leaders and champions of the Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons, Twitch subscribers, and YouTube members too. Thank you.